What's up guys? Today I wanted to talk to you about the Cash Shop, otherwise known as the Defiant Store. And uh, so I was looking for a nice little place to go to do this and you see this oddity in front of me. I have no idea what this is. And you're probably going, well, it's probably like something from an arc fall or something. Oh, look, here's my map. There's nothing. You see which way I'm looking. There's nothing this direction. So, whatever is making that noise, or noise, that uh, that go on over there, I have absolutely no clue what that is. I thought that was kind of interesting. So, uh, anyways, you go, we're going to go to the cash shop here. And it's in your radio menu, and you see it here, Defiant Store, right there. And why do we call it Cash Shop? Because everything costs bits. And, let's get over here, bits basically cost money, so it's a Cash Shop. Because you're spending, this is still used, they're still using Microsoft Point terms, even though we don't use Microsoft Points anymore, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. No explanation for that. But um, you see how it is. Technically, this is five, twenty, and fifty dollars for the bits, and then you can buy the bits and use the bits to buy stuff. Well, it just depends on what you're going to buy. As to, I would say, as to what you are. <laughs> um, if you're free to play, you're probably going to buy things that a lot of us may not buy, like key code capacity or something like that. Or, um, because you're not you're not going to get the same things. Uh, free to play is going to receive less than the veterans, the people who have been around for a while. Stuff we started with, they're reducing it for the free to play people, and they'd actually have to buy more to get what we have. So, um, if you've never been in here, um, it's some of this stuff is really really high. It's highly priced, uh, very highly priced. Most of the clothing, I would just shake my head and tell you, don't. Do it. <laughs> um, but let's let's go down here. We'll just go down here to the outfits. And you'll see why. Look at this. Basically, it's saying that this E-Rep officer uniform would almost cost me $20. And technically, it is $20. Well, why isn't it $20? Well, it's because of the patron pass. Well, they gave us a free 15-day patron pass. Here's something I'll promote. I actually love this patron pass. I think the patron pass is like the best thing in this store hands down um and what it is is when you have the patron pass you get tons of boosts and i mean everything you get boosts for everything everything is boosted and everything is reduced in price even the patron pass so if you have the patron pass and you want to renew it before your current one ends it will cost you less because you have the patron pass and everything is cheaper for, if you have the patron pass. So that's what's awesome about it. So what did I do? Duh. I bought a 30-day patron pass before my 15-day free one expired and I got it for a little bit less. Less is always better. So this is the one thing I will always promote or probably about the only thing I would super promote and that is the patron pass as far as spending money. I think it's personally, I think it's worth it. And I'll show you why. We'll go over here to our character and let's look at the boosts. So look at this. Just look at the bottom. Let's not look at the top because there's clan boosts and stuff active here. But there's 20%. All of this. All the way across the board except for score you only get 10%. That is pretty nice. Especially if you're low ego and you're trying to get your skills up. Your, your ego up. You got the XP. That is really nice. But for me I like the script. The reputation. The salvage. That is all awesome to me because I love getting all extra of all of that that means when you break a gun down i'm getting 20 percent more salvage when i sell it to the machine i'm getting 20 percent more script somebody is beating me up while i'm in my screen and i can't see them <laughs> so uh, the patient pass to me is a wonderful thing i actually like it and that's why i bought it all right let's get back into the store though and and some of this is going to be stuff you might be interested in convenience now, if, if you're free to play, you really, I think they say you start out with two loadout slots, and, and so you might want more. I really use three of mine pretty much. I don't use the other two that much. They're kind of my play with ones, but uh, you might consider that. Now, um, and unless you've been around, I'm, I, like I have five. I could buy one more to get a sixth, which I think is maximum, and I, I'm not. I'm not interested in another one. I don't hardly use two of them as it is, so inventory slots is always good to buy. I've bought quite a few of these. I've probably bought uh, about six or seven of these myself, so I've actually spent into that. And once again, if you're interested in the patron pass, I'd say you always buy it first because everything gets reduced in price. You get 10% off. 
if you have the patron pass. So, um, I've actually bought one set of the uh, key code capacity because I liked it. Uh, I like I don't like the 75 because some things cost that. I'd like to be able to go over it without being concerned. And now technically, I mean, I know people are going to say, well, if I go over it, it lets me go over because they've done this. Well, now I can go over 100 with the same way you could go over 75. So I kind of like that. I would I would never promote you buying Arc Forge, earn it. Um, it's here for your convenience. It's here to make it easier because you're trying to level something up and you want it done now and I'm patient and I will earn my Arc Forge. That's just how I am. I will earn it or I will buy it from another player to I'll now hand them the weapon to do what I needed. I'm not going to come into the cash shop and buy this. So, but you can buy it. If you're in a hurry and you just have to have it, you can buy Arc Forge. That is just to me, it's very highly priced. So, and once again, we got the outfits. Not all outfits are highly overpriced. I'm going way down to the bottom to show you some of these. So you can see, and you see this one's darked out. This isn't one you can earn. Now, it will darken out some of them. Um, and they're somewhere in here. But, yeah, like it says, I purchased these. Well, these are just things you earn from doing things. So, technically, I didn't buy any of these. I, I earned them, and it just calls them purchase. So, you can't buy something that you technically already own. But I've always kind of liked this, and I finally broke down. And I was like, you know, I've always liked this stalker outfit, so I'll just buy it. It's not that expensive. I've got the bits in there, so. some I won't say don't buy clothing, but I will say pay attention, because some of it is highly overpriced, and so few people actually see it. I mean, your friends occasionally see it. When people are in a group with you, they'll see it. But on general, I mean, 99% of the people in the game don't see what you're wearing, so you're not even getting to show it off. So I would say... Personally, would say don't go spending a ton of money on outfits, but that's just me. And of course, we're we're into headgear. It's the same thing as an outfit to me. Boosts are, you know, it just depends on what you want to do uh, with boosts. Uh, I buy boosts occasionally, depending. It just depends. I probably won't buy them as often now that they've got rid of loot boosts. I used to buy loot boosts like crazy, but I probably won't be buying tons of boosts. Though about the only boosts I do buy, buy now really is clan boosts because. I don't like the boost system, the way it works for a specific amount of time. Um, you get like two hours of a self-boost, where if I can just, I mean, so I know it's 50% for two hours, but I would almost prefer just to have the uh, 7% for a full 24 hours I get from the clan. I'd feel like I got more out of it, because what if, what if I buy a score boost, and there's nothing going on for an hour and a half, and then, you know, something happens at the end, or something's happened at the very beginning... I just don't feel like I get enough out of a boost like that. I won't pay for a boost that only lasts for this set amount of time. That's why I like the Patron Pass. I get all those boosts for 30 days, 24 hours a day, non-stop. That's what I like about it. Why, that's why I bought it. Vehicles. And this is a good one because I've never bought a vehicle out of here. But I'm just going to say it. Um, here it is. <laughs> this is the tr I see people see these and they're like, where can I get a truck? Because they saw somebody, saw somebody driving a truck. This is the only place you can get the truck. If you didn't know, at least you can sort through and get all kinds of different colors and everything. It's all the same price. You can have your pink one if you choose. Pink one actually used to be cheaper. They've changed it to where they're all the same price. This used to be the cheapest one you could buy once upon a time. But this is the only place you can get the truck, unless, of course, you're calling the Raptor a truck, which I do not. To me, it's just a, like a supersized, whatever, military-ish, since it didn't get a turret. We'll say ish, doom buggy type of thing. So, to me, that's the only truck in the game right there. And then the bundles, which I just don't understand the bundles. They just don't make sense to me. Just buy it out of the machine for script. Don't come pay real money to refill your grenades and the stuff. I, this is insanity to me that you would pay for this. Go to the go to a normal vendor and pay the tiny amount of script it costs for this stuff. And I think it actually costs about as much script as it does real money. So don't do that. But uh, there's different stuff too. Here's your lockboxes. You can buy lockboxes. I've never... No. No. <laughs> No, you can buy them if you choose, but I, I mean, I, I just, I don't know why you would really want to spend money on it. Just buy, earn the keys and buy them in game. I, I understand they made, they've made them look really cool and all of that, but they are so horribly expensive to me for, for virtual items. No, I say no to this. Do not buy these. Do, earn them in game. Earn your reputation to buy your synergy mod horror because it's not like I could, if I could buy it, if you told me pay this price and I'll give you, uh, four quartermaster tier four ar mods yeah, that's great maybe i think about doing it but now you're telling me maybe i'll get a sniper a rocket launcher a uh 
you know, a grenade, um, a detonator. No, 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 no. That's too much money to spend for random chance for me. So I won't, I won't even think about that. And then, of course, they have all that stuff up in their featured items section. And you see the Grim Nomad is technically, whoa, and I am going crazy. The hands are going too fast. <laughs> the Grim Nomad, if it wasn't for the 10%, would be $20 for an outfit. That's just... That is so expensive. So, and the same with that E Rep officer. I mean, that E Rep officer I think looks pretty cool, but I'm not paying $20 for my guy to look like that. But this is where the story is, and this is kind of where you're going to find some of this stuff. Now, some of this would come in handy. I mean, the loadouts, inventory slots, our uh, key code capacity. I definitely can see you buying some of these. Why? Well, I've, I've bought all of it, but the loadout slot, personally. And if you're free to play and only have two, I can definitely see you wanting to pick up some more loadout slots. And, uh,. That's it's really, t I mean, it just depends on your opinion if it's too much. I don't think the inventory slots are too highly priced. That's why I bought some before, and they come in just so handy. And I don't, I think you get even less if you're free to play. So, really and truly, hands down, patron pass. And if you're thinking, I mean, if there's anything that will help you in this game more than anything else, it's the patron pass. So, that is pretty much going to be our walkthrough of, whoa, look at that. Yeah, what's, what's still want to know what that's going on? But anyways, that's our walkthrough of the Defiant Store or the Cash Shop. And uh, that that's about all I have to say. Give you my kind of opinions on that. And whoever was making all that noise shooting and hitting at me is gone now. But uh, I'm going to go over here and check out what is going on, where the source of this is. And I'll catch you guys later.